position. So, sorry, let me just go back here and resize this. Hopefully I'm not boring too many people, but I'm sure I'm boring plenty of people right now. Um, but if you don't like it, <laughs> bite me. Um, anyway, let's get back to our little project here. Um, so now that we're finished with our rescaling of our object, we're going to do uh, reframe rescaling of our animation. We're going to now take this pre-comp and pre-comp it again. Control Shift. Make sure you move all attributes over the composition, new composition. Okay, and so this is going to be our final output for our animation. Um, so what we have here, you know, go go through the animation. You know, see we've got our frames here. You know, switching colors. Okay, so the next thing we want to do is um, I'm trying to decide if I want to do the shifting of the frames or rescaling again. Um, Let's go shifting up the frames. Okay, so what we want to do is make it so every time we copy um, a layer or duplicate a layer, the frame shifts over. So on layer two, this is what you see, layer three, layer four, layer five, layer six, layer seven. Um, each layer you're seeing a the next frame of the animation. So what we're going to do is we're going to select our layer right click go to time enable time remapping and we're going to alt click the stopwatch and just open up the expressions editor here and in the expressions editor we're going to type in this comp dot frame duration now this is just a happy accident because um, I was typing in several different expressions to see what I what I would get because um, my main goal was to get an expression that will allow me to go frame by frame but unfortunately uh, any expressions or numbers that I would plug in would give me a whole number which would shift the frames shift the animation in seconds not in frames and we don't want seconds we want frames um, the expression this comp dot frame duration is supposed to output a number that equals to the composition duration um, in seconds so this composition is 1.5 seconds long it'll give you an output number of one. Um, if your composition is four seconds long, it'll give a number output of four. But for some reason, when, when I plug this into time remap, it doesn't. It just gives me outputs a number of one, regardless of how long the, uh, the 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 animation is. Which happy happy joy joy. That's exactly what I want. So when you look over here, um, the animation is actually set to frame one. Which, which is what we want, and regardless of whatever frame we go to, it's stuck on frame one. See, there's no animation. Oh, you probably think it's deep. That sucks. You know, we want to see the other frames. Well, what we're going to do is we are going to use index to shift our frames over. And again, what index is? Index is nothing more than a numerical value placed on um, whatever layer it is. So layer one has an index of one. Layer two has an index of two. Layer three has an index of three and so on. So what we have to do here in order to make this, you know, frame one in our time remap to shift up to frame two when we duplicate this layer is multiply it by index. Now you're probably thinking, Steve, you know, why don't we just add index? Well, um, After Effects sees, uh, sees the index as a whole number of one, um, which for this expression will equal one second, and we don't want seconds; we want frames. So the frame duration at one frame times index equals one frame. Uh, if you add index, you'll get one second and one frame. Okay. Well, if you don't believe me, let's just put the add symbol in here bam look what you get it shifts over to blue which is one second in one frame okay so back to multiply and that's it okay and to show you what I mean I am just going to duplicate this a few times now why it's still saying seeing red is because you're seeing layer one which will always be red let's close these out and layer nine ninth frame is kinda greenish yellow layer eight yellow Layer eight, orangish, yellow, orangish, 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 and up to red. So, 
<laughs> Isn't that great? Okay, uh, so let's keep going here. Now we got this whole animation thingy thingy set. Um, <clears throat> now what we have to do is, um, so let's go for shifting our um, no rescaling. That's what we got to do. We got to rescale. So select your object. Hit S for scale. Alt click. Hit the stopwatch. Bring this down to open up our expressions editor. And let me just pause for a second because I need to take a look at my notes. You're right. Okay, I'm back and I uh, just had to go over my notes really quick. And right now I'm listening to an awesome song I heard back when I was in college and 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 the early 90s. Cycle sluts from hell. I wish you were a beer. They were actually on Beavis and Butt Head one time. Awesome. Anyway, um, back 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 to what I was doing. Okay, rescaling. Now the thing is, we have to rescale our um, animation slash sets of images um, to a square num no, a square number. So we have to fit. We have 36 frames, and we have to fit them so they're going six across and six down. So we have to scale our image um, so basically it's one sixth the size of our finished comp. And here's wh here's what we're going to do. Here's here's what we're going to do. So I'm going to create a new null object, and we're going to just call this sliders. And no, I'm not referring to that really awesome show that was with one of the O'Connell O'Connor O'Connell brothers, the one who married uh, what's her face that model. Anyway, um, and none of that White Castle crap either. Um, so we're going to go in here and we're going to toss some expression controls. A slider here, a slider there, and the first one we're going to uh, rename it image total. Okay, and this is going to be the total amount of images that are going to be in our uh, animation. So we're going to have 36. We can just type this in already. 36. Okay. Uh, slider control number two. We're just going to rename this um, image total sqr.rt. And if you haven't thought it, figured it out, that's square root. Square root of the image total. And we're going to add an expression in this slider. And we're going to alt click the stopwatch and go back down here, open this up a little bit. And let's just get rid of that. And right in here, right across from our expressions editor, these four little buttons here. And obviously one of them is a pick whip. But just to the right of the pick whip is a little is a little triangular thingy in a bubble. Click on that and it brings up uh, some menus of some, you know, prefab expressions, which is really good. Um, and there's one in here uh, under JavaScript Math, uh, which I want to bring your attention to, um, which is really, really good. Um, now let's see if I can find it here again. There it is. Math.sqrt. That square root. Uh, so we'll just select that. And in value, we want the value of our image total. Image total like the slider. So basically we're getting the square root of the total images in our animation which is 36. Which this should, let's click out of it, give you a image total of 6. Um, or image total square root of 6. So let's close out our sliders. And uh, yeah, that's exactly what we need. So in our transform scale, I'm going to create a variable. Um, IT, uh, ITSQ <coughs> for image total square equals, and I'm just going to pick with that slider of image total square root. Colon, semicolon, let's go back down here and finish it out. And value, value itself is the actual combined value of the x and y. So we don't have to do any bracket 0, bracket 1. So value, so that's value divided by ITSQ. Click out of it, and it shrinks down. <laughs> so this box is actually one-sixth the size of our finished composition, because the value is 100%, 100% divided by ITSQ, which is 6, 